In this tutorial video, we're going to show you how to animate a typewriter in Adobe After Effects. The project files of this tutorial are available on our website. We'll leave a link to our library in the description section below. Let's start with the type bar. When you open the design file, you will see our project has a lot of layers like this. We'll hide layers that we don't need to use for now so it'll be easier for us to animate. Let's start with the type guide or type bar. We'll keyframe its path to make it move up and down. It should also become bigger when it goes down, so we'll also adjust its control points. Copy and paste these keyframes to make it go up and down constantly. Compress its keyframes if you want it to move faster. Then loop the animation with this expression. To animate the keys, we'll keyframe their Y position to create an up and down movement. Make sure when you design the keys, you have to arrange their layers correctly. Take this one for an example, it's supposed to be behind these two keys, so when it's pressed, parts of it won't be seen from this angle. But you can see the entire key now, so you have to rearrange this layer. Then select all keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease keyframes. Let's randomize their animation by moving keyframes like this. Then add loop out expression to loop the animation. After we finish animating the keys, we'll hide their layers and continue with the paper.
parent the paper, lever and paper bale to page gauge. And all lines to paper. Select these layers and hit Shift Ctrl C to pre-comp them. Then keyframe the page gauge's X position to move it to the left like so. Let's move the paper up slightly. We also need to trim the text lines to make one line appear at a time. To create the transition between the first and second text lines, we'll need to make the page gauge move upward around here by keyframing its X and Y position. Second line will start at this frame. And just repeat what we just did to animate other text lines. Let's increase the project's duration to have more space for our animation. We also need to hide this mask when the page gauge moves to the left by keyframing its X scale. We'll scale it down like this at the second keyframe. Then at the next frame, set it to zero.
And when the page gauge is back to its initial position, the mosque's X scale will be 100% again. Then copy and paste the mosque's X scale to repeat the animation. Let's preview the animation. Notice that when you use the typewriter, only the paper will be pushed up and the page gauge should stay in one place. To fix this issue, we'll copy the page gauge's Y position onto the paper's Y position. Let's separate the paper's position dimensions. Make sure to remember the paper's initial Y position, which is 28 in our design. Then copy the page gauge's Y position keyframes onto the paper's Y position. And drag it up to its initial position at around 28. And delete the page gauge's Y position. Since we increase the duration of the page gauge composition, we also have to do the same to our main project's duration. and make sure the duration of all layers are extended as well. To animate the lever, we'll keyframe its rotation. When you type to the end of a row, you'll need to take the carriage return and slide it back to the other end. This process should be done each time you get to the end of another line, so we need to copy and paste its keyframe to repeat the animation. Notice that the type bar continues moving even when the typewriter needs to be reset for the next line because we use the loop out expression for the type bar. To stop this from happening, we'll remove the loop out expression and copy and paste its keyframes like so. It'll stop right here when you've reached the end of the line. 
Then it starts moving again where the next line begins. We also need to do the same to the typewriter keys, making them stop when one line of text is finished. To finish the animation, we'll add the posterized time effect to the page gauge. Set the frame rate to 16.
and keyframe the posterized time's frame rate. Then set the interpolation for the page gauge like so. And we've finished our animation. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more After Effects tutorials. See you in the next video.